hello beautiful ladies welcome back to my channel so i'm here with another hair tutorial and i definitely did not record an intro when i started this video so as you can see i'm just gonna get straight into the style because i'm already doing it in this video <laughs> So here I am, I just separated my hair um, from the front and the back and I'm just using a rubber band which I should not be using but I could not find a scrunchie to hold that hair in the front in place. So I will be crocheting in the back so I'm going to go ahead and start braiding down my hair so that I can crochet the back. So I'm just going to show you guys this first braid that I did. Um, Oh, snap, I got a little hang time coming in, y'all. I cut my hair last year in August. This month, actually, it makes one year on the 10th since I got my hair cut. And I can't wait to do a length check for you guys because Lord knows I really am proud of how much growth I've seen. And, like, look at it. It just looks so healthy. It's definitely flourishing. Alright, so here is the end result of the braids. It's okay if your parts are not clean because no one will be seeing that anyways. Um, because we're going to go ahead and put this thick hair in the back. <laughs> Listen y'all, you know I like to joke a little bit. Alright, so this is Afro Twist braiding hair. Um, and this is traditionally used for Marley Twist. But I felt like this would give me the most realistic look especially for my 4c girls i wanted it to look like it was my hair so when you go ahead and crochet you just put the needle through your braid as so as you see then you're gonna open the clamp put the hair through close the hook and make a knot to secure your crochet and i'm just gonna repeat that over and over um if you notice sometimes i do two different kinds of knots because sometimes the hair gets tangled in itself and I can't deal with it so sometimes I'll put both strands through sometimes I'll put one strand through either way works it's just a matter of your personal preference Alright, so I went off camera and I finished the rest of my crochet. Here is the back so you can see how full it looks. Look, you don't even see them braids, girl. You don't even see them. Alright, you can see them just a little bit in the back. But ain't nobody gonna be looking like them. Oh, my smile is so cute. Alright, so now the front, this is where you can get creative. If you want to do a style like this, you don't necessarily have to follow to the T how I'm going to go forth and to the front of my hair. But this is how I chose to style it and I'm doing a braid going forward, which I will be putting beads in at the end. That was a little hard, I ain't even going to lie. I was about to stop recording. And I'm using the crochet hair to braid because I did not want to purchase a whole pack of expressions hair when I already had additional hair that was left over from the crochet braids that I did in the back. Definitely recommend putting some oil on your rubber bands before styling to 
minimize any breakage or damage from the material of the rubber band. Now let me offer this as a rebuttal. So you're gonna combine half of that front twist with one side of the second row as so. As you can see, I'm combining one half of the original rubber band, I guess piece of hair you can say, with this second piece in the back. And then I'm gonna repeat that with the second half. row and as you can see I'm going to cross that hair over because I want my hair to you know I want it to be a little style a little nice design or something give them a little crisscross so you're going to just cross that over and secure it with another rubber band then I'm going to do that same step for the next side secure my hair and just to make sure that that hair is out of the way and doesn't get into the braids. repeat that same exact pattern off camera this is my end result ladies look at my hair it is beautiful i'm laying the edges hair is done yes i'm giving you looks serving face i forgot to record the part where i put the beads on i'm slacking but thank you for watching i love you guys goodbye be sure to like comment and subscribe love you